Hello everyone, I welcome you all to the Infinite Division platform. Right now I'm building one such question that came in your JMN examination. This question came on 1st September 2021 and it came on second shift. Okay, so let us see this question first. A question says a 2 kg steel rod of length 0.6 meter is clamped on the table vertically at its lower end and is free to rotate in vertical plane. So you have been given this setup, you have been given this steel rod and which is clamped at its lowermost position. Okay, its length is also given to you which is 0 0.6 meter. Okay, and it is of 2 kg of mass. So that means whole mass can be concentrated at its uh, middle points. So which is at a distance of 0 0.3 centimeter from middle. Okay, so this length L is 0 0.6 centimeter and whole mass can also be concentrated. The 2 kg mass can also be concentrated over here. Okay, so now the upper end is pushed so that the rod falls under the gravity. So that means you have been, it has been given a slight push. Okay, so it hasn't been provided the, mac, um, the velocity but slight push it has been provided. So eventually it will rotate and come back over there at its disposition. So it will come over here. Again it is clamped over here. Okay, and it will slide, it will gonna rotate. Again when it comes to its lowest most position it's and uh, its center of mass again it is concentrated at its middle of this rod which is 2 kg. Okay, the speed of the free fall uh, of the rod when it passed through the lower lowest position is that you need to find out what is the speed of this lowest most portion let it be V that you need to find out. Okay, earlier it has been at certain height so that means it has gained uh, it has uh, this whole system is at certain height so that means it would have up some certain potential energy. The whole mass is concentrated over here so that means this mass after rotation comes over here. So what would be the fall in potential energy of the system? So it is m into g into h. h is the total height fallen. This change in the potential energy would be the gain in the rotational kinetic energy of the system. So it is equal to half i omega square where i is the moment of inertia along this axis okay which is nothing but i has to be equal to i l square m l square by 3. So moment of inertia is m l square by 3 because it has been hinged at its lowest most it has been hinged at its one of its end. So that means at that point the moment of inertia is m l square by 3. Okay. So rest everything is clear. We will be putting the value. This height fallen has to be equal to length of this rod. Don't you think? Because this length is half. This length must be half. So this length, this has to be equal to 0 0.6. So m into g into height is l it must be equal to half i moment of inertia is m l square by 3 omega square okay so m say m you can easily cancel out and then again l it can be cancelled out so omega square comes out to be 6 g okay 6 g so okay it should be 6 g by l so omega comes out to be omega root of 6g by L. So this is the expression of omega that we are getting. So that means uh, while it is coming down its uh, its angular speed is given by this relation. Okay. So if it is rotating because continuously it is rotating just like this. Continuously it is rotating and its angular speed at is omega which is already given to you by this expression. Now what would be the speed of this lowest most portion of the rod that you need to find out. We already know that this velocity must be equal to omega into r. What is rotation? Uh, what, uh, what, uh, what is the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation? It is equal to length of the rod, don't you think? So it would be equal to omega into 
L. So velocity comes out to be omega into L. We will be putting the value of omega over here. So you will be getting a 6 G by L multiplied by L. So it is equivalent to root of 6 G L. Finally you will get this, get this value. Now what we will be doing is we will be putting the values and finally we will get the answer. G is 10 and what about the length of the rod? It is 0 0.6. So 6 by 10. So you will be getting 6 meter per second. So this is the speed of the lowest most portion of the rod when it is coming at its lowest positions. I hope this question is clear to everyone. Thank you.